Hi, my name is Yuris. I am the application engineer at CNAS, the affordable platform for engineering simulation. We integrate open source tools into the single user friendly platform. Now I would like to show you how to perform the thermal analysis of a bicycle braking disc. We will use already prepared geometry from GrabCAD. In order to perform thermal analysis of braking disc, we will have to do those 7 steps. First we will get geometry from GrabCAD. Then we will import it into Salome or preprocessor. Next we will divide the surface of disk into braking and cooling surfaces. Then we will create an export mesh. We will set timing controls and boundary conditions for our solver GetDP. Then we will run the simulation and finally we will post-process our results. So let's begin with the first step. We want to get a geometry from GrabCAD. Our disk is located on the second page and we download files. Next we will extract them. As you can see there are four files. One which we are interested in is this one with step format. Next we will open Sinus and add Salome as our preprocessor. Let's run Salome. When Salome opens we have to choose geometry model and create a new case. Now we will import or geometry using step format. We have to find our geometry file. Here it is. Now Salome asks us whether we want to keep millimeters as a default units or transform them to meters. So we will say no so that we keep millimeters as our default dimension units. You can see that the geometry was imported, but now we want to divide its surface into braking and cooling surfaces. So for making life easier, we can make our geometry transparent. And now we want to create a circle. For it we have to specify the center point and direction vector. Its size, its radius is going to be 56 millimeters. So you can see that the circle is previewed here. We click apply. So the circle is inside our body. And now we want to extrude it. We use this create an extrusion tool. So we select the base, the circle, and then we have to specify extrusion path. We will use the same axis. For extrusion high, we will use 5 millimeters and let's set to extrude it in both directions so that this cylindrical surface goes through all our body. Now we will make a partition between our extrusion and our disk. We create a partition. Now we see that our partition at geometry has division between braking and all remaining cooling surfaces. Next we want to create a groups, geometry groups, so that CNS can make distinction between braking surfaces and cooling surfaces. But first we want to create a group for disk itself. And here we select all bodies that are available on the screen and click apply. Now we want to create a cooling surface, a group for cooling surface. First we will select all existing boundaries in this window, but we have to remove this one and also click on this and remove. Now we will see 
what surfaces are selected. As you can see, there is also one small surface here between two bodies. We also want to remove it. Now let's take a look on all surfaces that will be included into cooling surface group. So it looks very good. And click apply. The same way we are going to add breaking surfaces to group. We will select it manually. Click add. And this surface as well. Two surfaces are breaking surfaces. So you see that Salome created three geometry groups, one for body and two for cooling and breaking surface. Next we want to create a mesh. We select or partition it geometry, one which also contains those geometry groups. Then we create a mesh. For mesh algorithm, I'm going to use NetGen 1D, 2D, 3D algorithm. Here you can specify the maximum and minimum size of elements and how fine you want to refine different segment segments. So for that I will use fine, click OK and apply and let's compute the mesh. As you can see our mesh has 32,000 triangles on the surface and more than 94,000 elements. They, they all are tetrahedrons. Now is a very important step. We need to add geometry groups to our mesh. Now we select three geometry groups created before. Click Apply. And to make sure that all groups are added to mesh correctly, we can take a look on breaking surfaces. They look very good. And the same we can take a look for cooling surfaces. So you can see they all are correct. Next step is to importing this mesh into CNES. We will use plugins and mesh to CNS plugin. Now you can type any name. So our mesh was exported successfully. Next we will open CNS. And here you have to choose millimeters because Salome exported our mesh in millimeters. Next, we will going to add GetDP and choose Thermal Solver. You can see our geometry here. For time stepping, we are using Transient. We, we are going to export every fifth time step. And our end time is going to be 10 seconds. Initial time is going to be zero and every time step will be every tenth of the second. Next we have to specify material for disk. We will use steel. For initial conditions we will use 20 degrees. For cooling surface we will keep the same convective heat flux. Uh, this coefficient, heat transfer coefficient will be set to 20 and temperature also will be 20. For breaking surfaces, we will use fixed heat flux condition. Here we choose piecewise linear distribution and for time. So our independent variable will be time. Now we have to add a few more rows. So starting from time zero, we will have 50,000 watts per square meter uh, heat flux until the fifth second where it ends. Now after a very very small time period 
it goes to zero until the tenth second when our simulation ends. Now we go back. We have to add our post-processor power view and run the simulation. When simulation is complete, then power view window opens. You have to click apply. So you can now see our geometry is imported into power view and we want to select temperature coloring distribution here. Next, we want to click on button rescale data range over all time steps. Now, if we run our results, we can we can see that up to the fifth second, our disks, our disk gets warm, and then, until the tenth second, this heat sinks inside the cooling region. If you want to add some time annotation, then we can use Power View filter. We type time here and select annotate time filter. Here you can change the format. We can add one digi digital number after the point. Click apply. Let's change position. And as you can see, that part of you tells us that the simulation was 20 seconds, but this is not right. So we have to scale this time by half. So now the last time step corresponds to the tenth second. That's right. So let's run result again. It looks good. Here was yours from Cenus. We did thermal analysis of bike braking disk using CNS platform. You can find more video tutorials for CNS platform in our YouTube channel. Follow it by clicking on subscribe button and see more tutorials coming soon. You also can apply for beta testing of the platform at our webpage. Please find the link in the description below. Thank you.